Calling this video Trig Setup. You're to watch this video if you already went through Sokotoa and you're still having a little bit of trouble setting up your triangles. So I'm going to go through every possible example for setting up a 90 degree triangle to be solved without actually solving it. We're just practicing the setup. When you look here, we know the hypotenuse and we're looking for the adjacent side. The only equation that involves hypotenuse and adjacent is cosine. I know this is adjacent because it's beside the angle that's given. This is adjacent. This is also beside it, but the long side, that is the one across from 90 degrees, is always the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So for this triangle, adjacent is x, hypotenuse is 12, and the angle in question is 40 degrees. For the details on how to fully solve that once it's there, just watch Sokotoa. It's all in there. To set up this one, the angle, I'm, the angle I have is 35. The side length I'm looking for is the opposite, and the known side length is the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse go a sine. So the sine of 35 degrees, the sine of this angle, is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is the side across from the angle. And the hypotenuse is always the longest side. Why don't you pause it and see if you can set up these two. Here, the angle in question is 45. I know the opposite, and I'm looking for the adjacent. Tan has opposite and adjacent. The tan of this angle is the opposite side over the adjacent side. In this case, it is the opposite side that's unknown. The tan of this angle is opposite over adjacent. Notice the difference between these two. The similarity is we're going to take the tan of each of the angles. However, the difference is on this side, we're looking for the variable that's on the bottom. And on this side, we're looking for the variable that's on top. It's very important that you identify which of these two is opposite and which of these two is adjacent, and that you place the opposite on the top and the adjacent on the bottom. Over here, the opposite is C and the adjacent, sorry, the hypotenuse is X. It is sine that involves opposite and hypotenuse. And on this one, we have the adjacent side, and we're looking for the hypotenuse. The sine of this angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, given that it's the hypotenuse that we're looking for, it shows up on the bottom here, and an extra step will be required to solve it. Why don't you press pause and see if you can set up these two. Okay, in this case, we have opposite and adjacent. The tan of this angle is opposite over adjacent. In this case, we have opposite and hypotenuse. The sine of that unknown angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And finally, here's the last possible case. We have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. 
Again, I know that's adjacent because it's beside the angle in question. And, well, obviously there are two sides beside every angle, but the longest side is the hypotenuse. The cosine of this angle is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. If you're having trouble at all, I suggest you follow a few extra steps here. One, circle the angle in question. Two, label the triangle. Three, identify the trig equation. And finally, copy triangle data. So, for example, let's say I have this triangle here. Let's give that side, that angle 30 degrees, and we'll make that 7, and we'll make this side length here unknown. Step one circle the angle. So I'm going to circle the angle that I know. Step two, label the triangle. Here's what I mean. Given that this is the angle in question, identify the names of each of these three sides. Side length across from the angle in question we call opposite. The side length beside it that is not the long side we call adjacent. And then the long side we call hypotenuse. Now, I'm sure you're going to get the hypotenuse right, but you may mess up these two. Remember, opposite is across from the angle in question, and adjacent is beside, connected to the angle in question. So the triangle is labeled. Then you want to identify the trig equation. You see here, I know the opposite, I'm looking for the hypotenuse, and I don't care about the adjacent. So I want to find the right trig equation. I want to find the right trig equation that involves opposite and hypotenuse. The O and the H are here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of the angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And finally, copy the triangle data. So the triangle data, our angle is 30 degrees. The sine of 30 degrees is opposite, and the opposite has a length of 7, and the hypotenuse is our unknown side length we're calling x. If you follow these four steps, you're going to always set your triangles up correctly.